We need to know more about the Fed. So anytime uh, corporations and banks and others rip the taxpayer off, uh, they have a legitimate complaint. But that is mixed in with people who resent anybody who have made some money. And I don't like that. I think people should be productive. They should be rewarded and not punished. So the two have to be separated out. But uh, I have a lot of sympathy with them, and I'm not going to be jumping on it and say, you know, uh, all they need is go get a job because I think I understand uh, the business cycle a little bit better than some others. Congressman, you were here four years ago, and you finished with about 70% of the vote. And so what in, in the primary? And so what is it that has occurred in the uh, intervening four years that encourages you to think you're going to be much better this time? Well, I think there's any doubt about the conditions of the country have changed. You know, four years ago in 07, in one of the debates, I was saying that the recession had already started, and, they, and the other Republicans weren't willing to say that because they'd have to be critical of their own party. Uh, so they, uh, you know, mocked that. But uh, we were actually in the recession uh, when I said that. And then we had the collapse, which we've been talking about for a long time. So the economic policies have just fallen in my direction in that been my big concern and the explanation of the business cycle and how we got in this mess and the warning about the danger of the huge deficit and there's an explosion of debt now and deficits and nobody knows what to do and uh, I've been trying to get some common sense in Washington with both parties about why we don't have to have continuous warmongering and getting involved in one war after another and now the American people are with me on this 70% uh, sometimes in a poll are saying it's time to get out of there. We don't need another war. Uh, we need to get out of Iraq and out of Afghanistan and come home. And uh, during this period of time, the last 10 years, we've added $4 trillion worth of debt just with the, the wars going on in the Middle East. So I would say the American people are very much uh, uh, coming in this direction. And that's why I think my numbers are so much better right now. I mean, I'm very optimistic about the difference between now and four years ago. It's the difference between night and day. And I, I think most people realize the country's in a lot worse shape and needs to do something. So, uh, obviously one of your, you've been preaching uh, finance uh, of a sort for decades. Uh, what do you feel um, in the, the Dodd-Frank Act works or doesn't work? Yeah. Well, it doesn't work. Regulations can't uh, can't compensate for um, bad policy. And if you have bad congressional policy and bad monetary policy, and think, well, yes, we're going to uh, we're going to create easy credit and low interest rates, and have all kinds of programs, and say, well, if we watch the regulators, we're going to prevent these problems from uh, cropping up. So you have to deal with the cause. Uh, Don Franks is the Democratic version of Sarbanes-Oxley. You know, we had Enron, so they say it's a lack of regulation. Uh, so they passed Sarbanes-Oxley. That, that added a trillion dollars worth of expenses onto the business community at a time when we were moving into a very, very difficult decade. And uh, Don Franks is going to do the same thing, add another trillion dollars. And then they say, what well, if business people don't want to hire people? And then they, uh, you add on... Uh, you know, the medical uh, uh, medical changes, you know, in Obamacare. I mean, this is devastating. Uh, business people can't make their proper calculations. So uh, I, I think it's uh, it's very damaging to the economy, and uh, uh, I, I don't see a recovery unless we change our attitude about what the federal government should be doing.